Welcome. So today we're going to go over how to install WordPress on your computer. So WordPress can't natively run on your computer. It runs off PHP. And so we are going to need to download this program called MAMP. And there's a MAMP and a MAMP Pro. The cool thing is what we need is totally free and it won't cost us anything to use it. I have navigated to their download page. I'm going to be doing this on a Mac. If you have a PC, you can just come over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this, and it's simply going to start downloading that program. Now why it's downloading, we'll talk a little bit about it. So what this is going to allow us to do is run a server on our computer so WordPress will be able to run. So we'll give this a few seconds to download, and once that's done, we'll come back and I'll show you how to install it. All right, MAMP has downloaded to install it. We're just navigated to our downloads folder. And I'm simply going to go ahead and double click this. And this is really easy, just like any program. You're just going to start hitting continue and agreeing to everything they want you to agree to. And I'm going to go ahead and hit install. We will give, type in my password. And just like that, it is installing. Now it's going to take a few minutes, and that's not a big deal. And once this is ready to go, we just have one more thing, and we are set. All right, it's telling us installation was finished, so we'll go ahead and click this. Hit move to trash. And I'm simply going to come over here to my launch pad. And there we've got the two icons. We're not going to use Pro. We're just going to use this one. We're going to click on it. And it is going to launch the program, and we are good to go. We can click off that. Now, to simply get this running, all you have to do is hit this little power button. And you can see it's going to turn on the MySQL database in the server. These two should light up green, and then it's going to send us straight into MAMP, the local host, and we are ready to go. The next thing that we need to do is go to Tools and go to PHP My Admin. And all this is going to allow us to do is create a database. It's really easy. All you have to do is click on databases. We're going to give that database a name. I will just call this WordPress. So we have these little kind of codes. These are, you know, if you want to use different from a different country, if you're Roman, whatever character set you want to use. So I'm just going to stay with the this one this general one here and I'm gonna hit create and just like that BAM the WordPress database is ready to go and done so the next thing that we need to do here is download WordPress so I'm just gonna do a little search here for the latest version of WordPress so I'll put word press download And here's WordPress download right there. This is what we're going to need. Just copy and paste that. It should give us the latest version. So here it is. Download WordPress 5.1. And I'm positive that is the latest version. Okay, WordPress has downloaded. So I'm going to come up here and click on my finder. And we're going to go to downloads. And we can see here is WordPress. I'm going to take WordPress and go over to Applications. Then we need to find this MAMP. Then we need to open and put these files in this htdocs. So inside of htdocs is WordPress. And all we have to do is go back here to MAMP. We can see here is our, our local host, 888 MAMP. Now we're just going to take this MAMP and we're going to delete that and we are going to put WordPress and hit return. And just like that, we can see we're ready to go and install WordPress. We're going to use English here. I'm going to hit continue. And we're just going to go through the setup thing. So we're just going to hit. So we have the database as WordPress. Our username is admin and our password is is password however when we set this up it's actually root and root and then localhost and wp and we're going to hit ok then we're going to hit run the installation and we're going to give this a name 
and this is going to be called Learn WordPress. Our username, and we will just call this admin. But basically, when you're running, don't use admin as your username. That's a bad idea. Make sure that you create sort of a really good password just for this demo here. We're just going to keep it simple and make it password. It's going to need an email. So I'm going to put in an email. I'm confirming here that I'm using a ridiculous password. And we will hit install WordPress. And just like that, bam, we're done. So we can log in. So we're at our login, we're just going to put in admin and then our password, which was password. I'll save that password so I don't have to do it. And just like that, you have installed WordPress all by yourself on a computer. And we are in the back end and we can start designing our web page. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have any comments or questions, as always, you can leave those below. And don't forget to subscribe.